What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your boy, Kareem. How you guys doing? Um, I was watching Trevor Lane, uh, his podcast. Um, he talked about Andre Drummond. You guys could go check it out. He had a guest on his show. Uh, he talked about Andre Drummond. And he had did two. Then he did one later on that day. did one last night where they talk about... Um, I guess the moves the Lakers could make. He did a live show last night, the moves the Lakers could make. Right, one thing about me, I, I watch different uh, platforms and different things like that. Um, but this guy, Trevor, and really don't know what they talk about. He guy got almost 400,000 subscribers. And I see people in the comment section. People really think that he know what he's talking about and his guests know what he's talking about. People go by numbers. You know what I mean? He got that many subscribers. That means he know what he's talking about or a guy that's on TV. It's like he know what he's talking about. So the guy on his show totally dismissed the center position. He sat there and said, the Lakers already have Marcus so All they need is another center. Because uh, Trevor, Trevor Lane was asking about bringing um, Drummond back. He said, only for a minimum contract. He'd bring Drummond back. He said, I wouldn't even bring him back for $5 million. He said, the Lakers don't need him. Um, basically, he said, Lakers, the center position you don't need, which I, is, is retarded. You know, these, these guys talk shit that they don't even know what they're talking about. He sat there and said, you, you got Marcus Gasol already. We already saw what Marcus Gasol did this season. We, and not only that, he'd be a, a year older. You know, he'd be a year old and we already saw what he did. He had little flashes where he played better than he'd done early in the season. But at the end of the day, we saw Marcus Gasol this year. And like I said, it don't get better from here. It only get worse. So with that being said, he's saying we could get anybody for a minimum contract. Then they brought up Damian Jones. So basically he's saying, yeah, he said he'd take Damian Jones for a minimum contract. He... I, I, let me let me just get off him for a second, right? The center position is very important. People, I, I swear, the White Howard and Javel McGee didn't get the um, credit they deserve. People, you hear about a lot of different things. Oh, the the Lakers should, um, you know, uh, get shooting, 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 and who they miss and different things like that. The White Howe and JaVale McGee played well, and, and we, we led the league in blocks. That's very important. People look at, and, and this is why I said, I'm going to tell you, I'm got to break this down for you. I need you guys to bear with me. It stay, stick to stick with this video for a minute, right? I'm just going to show you the difference in, in people and how the, uh, they, they do things, right? Now... When Dwight, let me tell you the importance of Dwight and Howard and JaVale McGee. When when guys was beating our guys off the dribble, they was right there and, and ran the guys, stayed with the guys, and either they blocked it or the guys dribbled and kicked it out for a, a, a long uh, three-point shot. So that's a low percentage shot them guys did. They forced the issue because when they broke our guys down, they was right there and they was quick enough to stay with them when the guys dropped to the basket and they kicked it out. Now, what happened this year? Marcus Gasol, once they beat the guys, it was an easy layup. So don't underestimate and don't look at what he did. And one thing, when somebody likes somebody, that's just like when you like a, a, a girl or, or anything. When you like somebody, any little thing they do, you're going to uh, glorify it. Now, I said to say this, and then um, they they were saying that, um, I know Brian Winhorst said Caruso may get $10 million in the offseason. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Now, Trevor Lane and, and a lot of these guys, the little, little things that Caruso might do, oh, they make a, a big thing of it. But Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee, the stuff they was doing was very important where they shut down that, that middle. They shut down that middle. We ain't going to talk about what Dwight Howard did for, for – uh, Against the against the Joker, you know what I mean. The defense he played, and then the lob threats and different things like that. So this guy 
saying Drummond, he disrespecting Andre Drummond. Here, this man's a double double. Here, double double with the Lakers. I ain't gonna count him with, with Detroit and anybody else. With the Lakers, if he played, come back next year, he getting us a double double. Ten to twelve points, ten rebounds. But he, you saying that he only worth a minimum contract? Like this guy, he had these guys on the show. Don't even know nothing about sports. They sound smart. See, people go by people how way they talk. Oh, he sound intellectual, smart. So he must know he talk about them guys. Don't know shit about basketball. They don't. They don't. He just totally dismissed the center position. This with the Andre Drummond video, and then they did a live last night. He dismissed it again where um, Trevor asked him. I think somebody in the comment section said, what about Miles Turner? Now, it's crazy that they said that I was just going to do a video. Cause I said, Remember I said I was going to break down the Lakers offseason plans. And I'm still going to do it. But it, it's really no rush right this second. So that's why I ain't really going. I did the Utah and Clippers series. I'm doing other things. But that was my one of my main targets. I think that Miles Turner will be huge for the Lakers. He can knock down the shot. He could it'd be a lob threat. He can knock down the um, a, a mid-range jumper, and he block everything that comes his way, and he rebounds. Perfect, perfect player. He, he he get up and down the court. Perfect player. This guy took about he he wouldn't um, Lakers don't need Miles Turner's, but he sat there and said he'd go all out for. For Doug McDermott, and what that and what kill me about guys, if you watch sports, when do you see all these guys? They could get the shooters, shooters, shooters. These Doug McDermott's, these these um Batons and all these different guys, they say shooters, who's supposed to be all these great shooters. When do they ever be killing in the playoffs? When do they ever be killing in in, in a major major? Impact on the team in the playoffs. Even the regular season, these guys don't don't do much. So that's why I said it's a myth. My thing is, I don't tell you guys y'all have to listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, hear what I'm saying and then look and see what's going on. Y'all can have your own judgment from there. These guys, I'm telling you, they don't really know the sport, and and the center position is very important. This guy sat there and said the Lakers all they need is Marcus So and anybody in a minimum backup center. Look what we went through all last year. We have Marcus So and we have no no center all season. Then they got Damian Jones. We would that's why we went all out to get Drummond. Like this guy is crazy. These guys be on these shows don't know what the hell they're talking about. They subscribers need to come su subscribe over here. Like what it is about them that that's keeping you their channel and they 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 misinformation all the time one thing about the laker organization they always have somebody they fall in love with and, and it end up hurting them it hurt them you know they they love robert sacre robert sacre is to me not to me period he ain't shouldn't even been in the nba but the they love him so much laker fan oh oh look what he do he a good locker room guy he a good locker room guy like He's a bum. He's a scrub. He's so. If you look at Robert Sacre, if anybody remember him, look at his talent. You giving him credit, saying good locker room guy. Where he's supposed to be in the, in the locker room, um, causing problems. He's supposed to be causing problems and, and, and acting a fool. Like that ain't even making no sense. He know he ain't supposed to be in the NBA. Period. He's like one of the worst players I've ever seen in my life in the NBA. Who played in the NBA? He shouldn't even been in the NBA. So by him being in the NBA, he know he shouldn't even been in the NBA. He gonna be on his best behavior. That's like right now, at my age, right now. If they tell me right now, okay, we we'll give you a spot on a team, and I'll be one of the 15 players on the team. You think I would cause any problem? I'd be up there cheering, be the best person I could be. Cause I'm like, I ain't supposed to be in the NBA right now. Like, use common sense. He's a good locker room guy. Like, what else he gonna do? What else he gonna do? Like, come on. Like, be for real. He ain't gonna cause no problems. So, so this, this narrative, that's why they say in the media make you think and, and, and 
um, push the narrative the way they want, and it's true. You know, it's true. Like Luke Walton. Lakers love that Luke Walton. Luke Walton built the Lakers for all these years. Luke Walton was garbage. Only thing Luke Walton, the best thing Luke Walton did was pass. But the same thing with him. Oh, he's a glue guy. He's a good locker room guy. He doesn't that. But they make it as it's that much. It's so important with that, which is, for the most part, is a lot of guys. Like, what you mean by a good locker room guy? Like, they say that about Jared Dudley. But one thing I do say with Jared Dudley, Jared Dudley is like an extension of a coach. And he built that up. He was a better player than them guys when he played. And then he always had that in him, that high spirit, you know, keeping guys ready. He does have that that skill set, you know. So his situation is different from to me than Luke Walton and, and Robert Sacre and Ryan Kelly and these guys. Once they left the Lakers, you never even heard from these guys again. Luke Walton, they traded him to Cleveland, his career was over. Robert Sacre and Ryan Kelly... They left the Lakers. They couldn't get back on the end. Never saw NBA floor again. See, that's the point I'm making. And that's why I'm saying this. Even with guys like, you know, I think Alan, Alice Crusoe is an NBA player. But I'm already hearing, and I don't like what I'm hearing. They saying $10 million. Now, I hope the Lakers don't be that stupid and either, either dare do that. And don't believe the hype. Because if you look at it, he averaged, what, six points, two rebounds, two assists. Now, what do he do good? Like, he ain't doing nothing on the offensive side. He ain't even no high assist uh, type of player. He he not a, a, a playmaker. Like, what is he doing outside of hustling? He play hard, which a lot of people, if you limit it in, in talent, you're going to play hard. That's just what it is. A lot of players play hard. But they, they don't talk about that. Javon Carter from um, Phoenix. He go hard and play hard and, and, and do the same thing. But you don't if, if the, you don't hear his name like that. Like, come on, don't don't do that. Don't do that. And then they got him down as some oh, they said, oh, he's second behind uh Matisse Thibel and, and defense. Like that defense rating, watch the game. I don't look at stats, you know what I mean? Watch the game. You watch him out there, what is he doing? What is he doing? And then a defender, and, and, and when you play defense, if you're a defensive stopper, you guarding that best player. It's like you that that chip. When when Bruce Bowen came, when Kobe knew, okay, he playing against Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen on all, all game. The same way with Tony Allen. Tony Allen got LeBron. Tony Allen got Kevin Durant. He got in Kobe. How many times, you know, uh, Boston sick? Um, Avery Bradley on, on guys. Huh, no, you got Kyrie. When do the Lakers ever do that with Caruso and say, oh, you got in this play? Like, like he's going to be that stopper. Like, okay, that's what they're going to do. The media and all that, they they pumping certain players up for their own reasons, whatever the reasons is. And they want you to believe this, these players is, is, is good, which they not. Which they not. Like, Alex Caruso is a guy... It's it's very very limited player, very limited. The Lakers make that mistake, give him ten million dollars. They'd be damn fools, man. They'd be damn fools, and the team would know probably bluff them in, into doing it. And, and they know, oh, the fan base and it's not, oh, he could play good with LeBron. Like, stop, watch the game. That's all I say. And then, like I said, when you like a person that much, any little thing you do, you're gonna point out. You know how many players in this league? That do a lot of little things, but they don't make a big issue of that. Like, for instance, a guy like Nerdless Noel, he do a lot of little things. Guys come and then he, he swipe, swipe the ball, strip the ball out of the guy's hand. Rim protect, he go up there, even if he don't block it, he, he covering ground. He runs the floor. He do a lot of little things. You, you don't even hear his name. You don't even hear his name. He get steals, he get blocks, he get lobs, he get a lot of deflections. He do a lot, but you don't hear about him. And he gonna be a free agent. He, he ain't gonna get no no consideration, no big money. They don't talk about him as no defense defensive player, and, and and they don't pump him up like that. He's on the Knicks. It's like he's this dead. When he's on OKC, it was just that. But he do a lot of little things. If you want to look at, like I said, that's just like a, a girl you dating, 
If she's no good, but you love her so much, you're going to look at every little thing she do well and ignore the other stuff. And that's what they, they do. And that's what they do. He talk about the guy to, oh, oh, yeah, we could go get Doug McDermott and O'Kelly Lennox and all this stuff. If you watch, like, the Lakers need guys who can score and guys can play. That just that just stop all, all this stuff there. If it's a big man, they forget all that big man shooting threes. They don't need a Lennox. They need what they had last year, guys who going, when you go at that rim, you, they're gonna contest the block it and, and and guys who can chase the chase a guy off when when he beat the um when when the guy beat our guys off the dribble. That's what you need. You know, Miles Turner could do it. It, it. He struggled a little like once he's not as quick, but he blocking shots. He he's a good player. Like come on, don't, let's let's not lose focus here. You know, that, let's not lose focus here. I, all I want is I want the Lakers to do right, be smart, do not leave with your feelings. One thing about me, it killed me to say Tatum was better than Ingram. You know, and, and it killed me. And Ingram have some statistical numbers better than, than Tatum, but Tatum is, is, is better than Ingram right now. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, because I think I still think Ingram is super, super nice, but I had to keep it real. I'm not here. I don't want nobody. Oh, he just don't like this play. He don't like that play. I'm just being real and showing you guys the, what the media does and how the Lakers does. The Lakers loved it. Luke Walton. Luke Walton was a bum. He'd been on Lakers way long. He 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 should have been on. The same thing like uh, uh, Robert Sacre. So Robert Sacre lasted the Lakers four years. Four years. The, and we cut Hassan Whiteside to keep him. And Miami signed to Hassan Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside blew up and, and became the player he became. That same year, the Lakers cut Hassan Whiteside in favor of Robert Sacre, Miami signed him about three days later, and, and we already know what Whiteside did after that. That's why Whiteside did not want to go to the Lakers when he became a free agent and the Lakers tried to get him. He didn't want to do that. And Whiteside was killing him. Not like he didn't play well in the, um, the preseason and practice. I remember hearing when they was like, oh, Whiteside, I think he's going to make the team. He... He outplaying uh, Sacre in, in, in all our centers we had at that time. But no, they keep Sacre because they like him. Oh, he a locker room guy. Because they like him. There's no, like, he, he, you look at him, look at Whiteside. Whiteside taller, longer block shots. Do way more, like, like that go to show that's a sickness what the Lakers has. You know, they fall in love with these players and, and they listen. The Lakers is like, they operate, that's why they got clown and also because the way they operate. They operate as, oh, oh, the fans, oh, they love them. They think oh, everything's a joke. No. Get serious and get the basketball. You, you, you cut. There's no way Rob Sackler should have been in the NBA. You cut Whiteside to keep him for what? A locker room guy. Like, come on now. It's not like your, your locker room. You paying Kobe, you paying Kobe all that money. He's supposed to sit there and get to have the locker room in check. And whoever else on that team. It's not like teams be. There's a lot of guys that, that's cool and, and mellow. Not like they had a toxic locker room. Like, come on. Like, you get for, be for real. And for this guy to sit there and say, he he wouldn't even pay Drummond $5 million. This man's a double-double. He played well with the Lakers. But then... LeBron AD came, it changed, he came late in the season, you know, but to disrespect him and say you he only worked for minimum contract in today's NBA, and you do this dismissing the center position like it don't count, and you see him with guys like Joker and these different guys, at B and all these guys that service will real good, talented big men, like, come on, stop it. Now, I'm going to end this video right now. I need you guys to subscribe and like this video, man. Share it if y'all can, man. Let's, I need y'all hashtag Trevor Lane. Tell them to come watch this, man. Get me on that show.
Get me on that show. He got all these weirdos on there. They don't even know what the hell they talking about. Peace.